The Wilkes Brothers Farm is only a few miles out of Racine. Here, Don Wilkes and his family cultivate about 27 hectares of farmland. The family grows grain, corn, soybean, and wheat. Now, in September, the harvest is also running here at full throttle. Don Wilkes' combines are practically running around the clock. These machines hardly have anything in common anymore with the groundhog from Case's early years. Don Wilkes has had two Case IH 7120 combines for about two years, and they serve him well. Driven by a 9-liter Case IH motor with electric injection, the combine delivers about 364 horsepower in the field. This version of the corn head, a Case IH 3408, is not available in Europe. The reason? It cannot be folded and is thus much too wide for driving on European roads. This uh, corn head here is uh, eight rows and that's 20 feet. And as long as we stay under 20 feet, we really have no problems. Not an issue at all. Also, the field work here in America is different from the European working methods. The use of chaser bins is standard here. A big truck stands ready at the edge of the field for the final transportation of the cereals. Here in Wisconsin, the corn harvest is almost finished. Now, Don Wilkes will store the grains in his silos until he finds a buyer. He looks back on a good year. This year was extremely very good. Um, for some reason, uh, we got our crops planted in a timely fashion. And then uh, it rained, I would say, just over an inch every week. And it was almost 90 degrees almost every day. So it was a perfect growing year for us in this area. And an average uh, crop of corn in this area would be right around 160 bushel to 170 bushel to the acre. Uh, the field I'm doing right now is 220 bushels per acre. Okay. So a very good year. However, German farmers could only dream of a good year in 2010. Here, the wheat's moisture content is at about 15%, marginal for storage. Bei der heutigen Witterung ist das fast nur notwendig, dass man es trocknet oder behandelt, so wie es jetzt schon ausschaut bis jetzt. Weil es schon wieder morgen schon wieder regnen soll. On one of the few nice days this summer, we met Johannes Frohlich, a driver for the agricultural contractor Hormann in Swabian Neukirchen. The company bought a new Case IH 6088 combine last year. With a cutting width of about six meters, it takes Johannes Frohlich about half an hour per hectare. The grain storage bin has a capacity of 10,500 liters. With its 6.4 meter long unloading tube, 106 liters per second can be transferred to a trailer for transportation. Also Case fahrt mir jetzt schon seit x Jahren. Wir haben den 21er Case schon gefahren. Jetzt haben wir die neue Maschine, den 6088. Für mich ist der einfach klasse, weil wir machen Saatgutvermehrung und dadurch habe ich eine super Qualität vom Korn. With all Case IH combines, it is mainly the so-called axial flow system that provides good seed quality. It was developed towards the end of the 70s by International Harvester, which was absorbed by Case IH many decades ago. The heart of the system is a rotor that threshes the grain precisely and above all, gently. Also man sieht hier da den großen Rotor, der ist innen drin, da haben wir unsere verschiedenen Körbe, jetzt beim Weizen haben wir vorne die kleinen und hinten die großen und die Schnecken, die befördern es dann nach hinten auf die Sieber und die äh, trennen das eigentlich dann das Spreu vom Korn. Das sind meine Wolfschaufeln zur Verteilung vom Stroh. Und da unten ist der Spreuverteiler auch zur Verteilung.
When the combine is put together again, the harvest can continue. But now, Johannes Froelich really must continue, and we leave Germany and head for the north. Havadrup in Denmark, right close to Copenhagen. Here, farmers struggle with soft soils. Not only because of the wet weather this year, the soil here is exceptionally fertile, but it is soft. This was the main reason why the Risby homes equipped their Case IH 9120 combine with a special feature. We bought the machine with wheels, uh, the big wheels, uh, but it's pretty soft this year and we got a lot of rain, so we had to uh, put the tracks on and uh, yeah, so it's possible to swap over with the wheels again. Hopefully we can use the tracks for the two next machines and yeah, when we sell it, put the wheels on again. <laughs> but the 9120 still serves its purpose. With a cutting width of over 10 meters, here we see it working at the wheat harvest. In contrast to the two other combines we've already presented in this film, the 9120 has a 13 liter Case IH motor and thus has a horsepower rating of 490 horsepower. It allows the Risby homes to harvest up to 50 hectares of wheat per day. Only a few kilometers down the road, in Slengerup, Tim Clonaris is harvesting with his team. The, the grain has been brought in. Now they have to collect the straw. Tim Clonaris cultivates 600 hectares with his team. He grows mainly grass for hay. He uses 250 hectares for the cultivation of grain. Now, at the beginning of September, Tim Clonaris is still working with his Puma CVX and a Case IH large rectangular baler from the LB series. The straw has to be brought in. We got the Puma in spring 2010, and uh, we we uh, we drive about uh, thousand hours. Uh, a year with it, mostly uh, by by the big bale presser, and uh, and uh, also plowing. Um, but uh, but mostly the the, the big presser. Um, I think that it's a good tractor because it has a very it's a very heavy tractor, and uh, we have a lot of fields uh, that are very very um, what do you say. Um, uh, there's a lot of uh, hills on it, and then it's 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 good to have a heavy tractor. And here, his new Puma CVX serves him well. No wonder such a big bale of straw can easily reach a weight of about 400 kilograms. However, nothing works without it. The large rectangular balers LB333 and LBX332. They press high quality bales with dimensions of 80 by 90 centimeters and a maximum length of up to 2.6 meters. Ideal for long-term storage. To be able to deliver this performance, the baler requires a tractor with a capacity of at least 110 to 130 horsepower. Tim Clonaris' tractors, he has several from Case IH, are almost fully equipped or can be very easily upgraded. One always has to think of the future, he says, and in doing so, thinks about the advanced farming system from Case IH. I think that uh, in, a, in, in, in a few years or something like that, I think that uh, we might use the, the GPS, uh, but uh, it's quite new for us and uh, we didn't have the antenna until now. We will show you what it's all about in a moment. To do so, we will leave Denmark and travel back to Germany.